Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the compound annual growth rate in Excel. The compound annual growth rate calculates the rate of return over a period of time and it's often used to measure past performance of investments or analyse business measures like sales or market value. In our example, we'll calculate the compounded annual rate of growth of the UK hotels industry. We have the fictitious industry values for the years 2016 to 2020. We also have the individual growth rates year on year. As you can see, the industry grew by 14.2%, 11.4%, 3.9% and minus 9% in the years 2017 to 2020. However, the problem with these figures is that they're uneven which makes it difficult to deduce what the general trend in industry value was between 2016 to 2020. To overcome this, we can calculate the compound annual growth rate, which shows what the growth rate would be if it has been constant every single year. There are two methods to calculate this. Firstly, we can manually calculate the compound annual growth rate using this formula here. So we take the ending amount, which is the 2020 industry value, and divide the beginning amount, which is the 2016 industry value. This is to the power of the inverse of the number of years, so 1 over 4. We then close brackets and subtract 1. Be careful with the number of years. Even though there are 5 years listed, it is 4 years from the end of 2016 to 2020. So whenever in doubt, simply take the end year, which is 2020, minus the start year, which is 2016, and this gives the number of compounding years, which equals 4. Therefore, the compound annual growth rate is 4.7%. In other words, if the industry value had increased by a constant rate of 4.7% every year, then the value in 2020 would be £48,278. So that's how you can manually calculate the compound annual growth rates in Excel. However, there is a function which makes things a bit easier. This is the RRI function, which was specifically introduced to calculate the compound annual growth rate. So we type equals RRI, first enter the number of periods, which is four, then input the present value or beginning amount, which is 40,123, followed by the ending amount, which is 48,278, and we then click enter. As you can see, this gives the exact same answer. Now, how do we check whether the answers are correct? Well, we can take the beginning amount and multiply it by one plus the compound annual growth rate to the power of the number of years, which is four. As you can see, this gives the 2020 value. In other words, if in 2017 the industry value grows by 4.7%, in 2018 it grows by 4.7%, in 2019 it grows by this amount, and in 2020 it grows by 4.7%, then the value in 2020 would be 48,278, which equals the actual 2020 value. So that's how you can calculate the compound annual growth rate in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.